Hi guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that something really amazing happened today. Wix released their hover box. Yes, this is so amazing. Just to show you quickly where to find this new tool. Um, it was in beta for a long time. We've been waiting for, gosh, over a year. Um, but they finally did release it to all the editors. This is one of my client websites that um, is not in beta. And yes, here it is. It's under interactive. When you first go to the interactive, if you're on the first uh, part of this, you'll see the full width slideshows. But if you use these little uh, circular buttons here, you can scroll down. You can also manually scroll down um, to get to the hover boxes. And it has a whole bunch of examples that you can use, or you can also create um, one of your own. Uh, any of them that you put in here are actually all easily editable. So don't worry about whatever one you pick. You can change pretty much anything on it. Um, just to quickly show you how they work, there's a regular state and a hover state. Um, so you can play around with having a different image in the hover than on the other, on the regular. Um, in this case, you could adjust the settings of the picture so maybe it gets darker when you roll over it. Uh, you could change the text. You can change pretty much anything. You can even add animation to things. So you could click on animate and float things in or do something where when it when you roll over it, it does a little animation for you. So just to show you kind of here's what I just quickly created. Um, and of course, I can change anything within this. Uh, one other thing to note quickly note um, with these hover boxes is that in the mobile view, whoops, um, you actually have to choose one state or the other because on mobile, you can't uh, hover over things. So in the mobile view editor, you can adjust this any way you want. And then you can also use these little settings to choose which one you'd want to display in mobile. So keep that in mind when you're designing this. You can also, of course, hide the hover boxes in mobile if, if neither state works and you don't want to confuse your mobile audience. Um, but you can also choose one or the other. Um, but you can't have an actual rollover on phones because when you hover your finger over a phone, it doesn't actually respond until they tap. So um, just one little you know, thing to keep in mind when you're designing these in your Wix websites. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to kind of share the really great news. We've been waiting for this forever. They finally released it to all of the editors. So it's now available in any Wix editor. And you can do everything you want now with some fun animations and changing um, just interactive buttons. I used to do a lot of Flash, and Flash was kind of, you used a lot of these rollover effects and so forth. Um, and now that's finally available in Wix, so we can play around with this. This really opens the door to doing a lot of fun interactive things on your websites. Um, you can incorporate video, you can incorporate sound, you can incorporate um, animated GIFs, all kinds of things. So it's really fun and really, like I said, expands our design tools to do anything we want in terms of interactive uh, rollovers uh, for big buttons or for sound clips or podcasts, videos, everything, you name it, you can do it with a hover box. So have fun. Happy Wixing. Thanks Wix Wizards for releasing this great tool and check out picklewix.com for more uh, great Wix reviews and tips and, and uh, features and, and all that stuff so you can learn more about how to design a Wix and make your Wix website the best it can be.